Today we are making 3D paper stars. You will need paper, and any kind will work, scissors, and glue. From your paper, you are going to cut out six stars of the exact same size. We are going to cut a straight line from where two of these little legs intersect straight to about the middle of the star. Now, if you did draw your star, trace it, or print it out, and there are lines, I would encourage you to flip it over for this next step. We are going to cover this leg next to the cut line with glue. And then we're going to take the other cut leg and sort of bring it over so that it lines up with the other side. And now we have sort of what looks like a, a four-pointed star. I do encourage you to line up those sides as, as best you can, just so the eventual star will fit together better. And you are going to do that with all of those paper stars you cut out. Okay, now that we have our six stars, which are now four-sided semi-3D things, uh, let's start putting them together. It's up to you how you want to do that, but if you want them to sort of alternate in colors, just make sure you pick two of the different colored ones. We're gonna apply some glue to one of these legs. I prefer the one that's already had some glue on it. And we are going to match that up, so to speak, with another one. If you can see that. We're just going to try to line that up as best we can and press it until it holds. Now we are going to add a third star to the mix right in between to make a sort of symmetrical shape. So again, we're going to apply glue to both of these parts of the, the already attached stars. And go on and smush in your third bit. Technical term. And again, we want to try to line up those sides as best we can. The more pieces you add, it will get a little tricky, but that's okay. If it, if it really bothers you, you can always trim it off later. Um, but I don't think people will even notice. Okay, and we're going to let that dry just for a few minutes. And while that three star shape is drying, we're just going to do the exact same thing with our other pieces. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, you know, no books were uh, damaged in the pursuit of this craft. It's a pre existing injury. Once our two sides of the star are pretty dry, we just basically want them not to peel apart while we're attaching them. You're going to treat them sort of like two sides of a globe and attach like so. So we're going to spread glue all over every piece of one side. And line them up how you'd like and press together and fix as you go. We want those star points to align as best we can. It may take a minute. Once our two sides of the star are pretty dry. We just basically want them not to peel apart while we're attaching them. You're going to treat them sort of like two sides of a globe and attach like so. So we're going to spread glue all over every piece of one side. And 
and line them up how you'd like and press together and fix as you go. We want those star points to align as best we can. It may take a minute. Okay. And it might look a little curly and frankly weird right now, but it will get better as it dries. So let's go ahead and press that together as best we can and let it dry. So once the glue has dried, you might notice a little bit of gappage or maybe some pieces that don't line up perfectly. If that bothers you, you can certainly carefully trim those down a little bit. But overall, you have a three-dimensional star. Now with that gappage, you might want to put some glue in there and, and press it together. But if you make several of these, you could string them up on a piece of twine or something using those gaps. Pro tip, put a safety pin on the string to better push it through. And there you have it. Those are the basics of how to make a three-dimensional star out of paper. Now that you know the basics, you can make more in different sizes. It's a nice little stress reliever. You can make a bunch of the same size or different sizes and put them on that string and hang them up somewhere. You can place a bunch in a bowl for decoration. I also encourage you to try different kinds of paper. You know, if you use just random pages of a magazine, you sort of end up with a surprise design, and that's kind of neat. Pick up your grab-and-go craft kit this July at the Makachek, Schlafly, or Cabany locations.